Hello everyone. Welcome to Basics e-learning. In lesson number 13 video, I am going to discuss problems on power and energy signals. All these problems are selected from previous semester papers. Before solving these questions, I suggest you to be clear with the concepts on power and energy signals. Hence, I am leaving a link here in the description box. Please go through the introduction part and then learn how to solve these problems. The first question here is, what is the total energy of the rectangular pulse shown? So you are given with a rectangular pulse which is extended from minus T by 2 to T by 2 with an amplitude of A. So the given signal X of T can be written as with amplitude A from minus T by 2 less than T less than T by 2 and is equal to 0 elsewhere, right? So this is what I can define the signal. So they are asking you to calculate the total energy of this rectangular pulse. So the total energy E is given by integral minus infinity to infinity mod x of t whole square dt. Here the signal is extended from minus t by 2 to t by 2. The limits of this integral will restrict now to minus t by 2 to t by 2 and the amplitude of the signal x of t is nothing but a mod a square dt. So a is a constant so that I will write it as a square into integral dt is t from minus t by 2 to t by 2. So if you substitute the upper limit and lower limit, I will get a square into t by 2 minus of minus plus t by 2 here. So this is t by 2 plus t by 2 is t. So this is nothing but a square into t. So the total energy contained in this rectangular pulse is a square into t. The second question that I am going to discuss here is what is the average power of the square wave shown? So here you are given with a square wave. First of all, we need to define the square wave here. It's a continuous time square wave given. So to calculate the average power, the signal has to define for one period. See here, one cycle, this is one cycle from 0 to t. Again, the same signal is repeated from t to t, 2t. Again, the same signal is repeated from 2t to 3t. So, the signal has to be defined for one cycle. So, x of t is equal to you have from 0 to t by 2, the amplitude is 1 for 0 less than t less than t by 2. And from t by 2 to t, the signal amplitude is minus 1. So, 0 my, uh, t by 2 to t less than capital T, right? So, the amplitude is 1 for 0 to t by 2 and minus 1 for t by 2 to t. The average power of the signal is given as 1 by t integral 0 to t x square t dt, right? So, this can be written now. This integral can be split into two parts that is 0 to t by 2 and t by 2 to t. So, the same thing I am writing 0 to t by 2, you have an amplitude of 1 square dt plus t by 2 to t, you have an amplitude of minus 1 whole square dt. This can be solved like this now, 1 by t. So, 1 square is 1, integral dt is nothing but t from 0 to t by 2 plus minus 1 square is 1 into integral dt again t from the limits t by 2 to t. Now substituting the limits, you will get here the upper limit minus lower limit here plus again upper limit minus lower limit. 1 by t here, t by 2 plus t minus t by 2 is another t by 2. So t by 2 plus t by 2 is t here. So this is 1. So the average power of this square wave is 1 here. Next question is, what is the total energy of the discrete time signal x of n shown in the figure? So, you are given with the impulses here. The total energy of a discrete time signal, you know the formula, n is running from minus infinity to infinity mod x of n square. So, your signal is extended from minus 1 to 1 only. 
So you write n is equal to minus 1 to 1. The limits that is from minus infinity to infinity is reduced now from minus 1 to 1. So the amplitudes that I can write it after substituting n is equal to minus 1, I will get x of minus 1 whole square plus x of 0 whole square plus x of my plus 1 whole square, right? So, we can write down the amplitudes. The amplitude at x of minus 1, n is equal to minus 1, the amplitude is 1. Again, x of 0, that is the amplitude of x of n at n is equal to 0 is 1. Similarly, x of 1 is also equal to 1. So, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. So, the total energy contained in this discrete time signal is 3 here. Next question is, what is the average power of the triangular wave shown? So, it is a continuous time signal. So, for that, first we have to define the signal for one cycle. So, the signal started at this point, suppose say from A, going like this and ending at point B, right? So, the signal is like this, started from point A and ended at point B. So, this is, I am considering it as one cycle. From where again the triangle is repeated, right? So, now I am considering the signal A to B as one cycle to define the signal here. We know the formula for average power P is given by 1 by T integral minus T by 2 to T by 2 x square T dt. So, for that first I need to define the signal x of T. So, here x of t is a ramp that is going up from minus 1. So, amplitude here is minus 1. So, to define the signal, we need it, the points here, the x1, y1 coordinates I am taking here, it is now 0, comma minus 1. The points here is point 0.1, comma 1. First of all, we will try to find out the slope. This is nothing but a straight line that is going from 0, comma minus 1 to 0 0.1, 1, comma 1. So, the line equation is given by y is equal to mx plus c. Here, y is nothing but your x of t. Slope, we need to find out. x is nothing but your time scale t plus some constant. I will explain how to find out that constant and slope. So, slope is given by y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. The two points that I am considering are 0 comma minus 1 and 0 0.1 comma 1. So, y2 minus y1, y1 minus of minus 1 that is plus 1 divided by x2 is 0 0.1 minus 0. So, 0 0.1. So, 2 divided by 0 0.1 that is nothing but 20. So, here I can write 20. Then what about this constant c? So, for that either of these two points substitute in the equation get the value of c here. So, x of t is equal to 20t plus c. So, I will substitute 0 comma minus 1 here. That is here this is nothing but y, right? y is equal to 20t, 20x plus c. So, this is x comma y I am substituting. So, minus 1 is equal to 20 into x is 0 plus c. So, c is equal to here minus 1. So, the required equation here is nothing but in place of C, you write it minus 1. So, the equation x of t is equal to 20t minus 1 from this point. That is A to some P you call. From again P to B, it is falling curve, right? So, this is not a ramp. This is x, x increasing ramp and this is a decreasing ramp. So, this equation is valid from A to P. Similarly, we have to write the equation from P to B. That is, this signal x of t is defined as 20t minus 1 for t between 0 to 0 0.1. In this interval, I have defined. Now, I have to define from 0.1 to 2. So, for that, consider the point B. Point B here is x-axis you have 0.2 and on y-axis you have minus 1. So, the point is 0.2, comma minus 1. Again, find out the slope here. 
So slope is nothing but y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So the slope will be now minus 1 minus 1 divided by x2 is 0.1 minus 0.1 that is again 0.1. So this will be again minus 20 here minus 2 by 0.1 this will be minus 20. So I will be writing slope is minus 20. So the equation will be minus 20 t plus c. So to find the value of c substitute either point P or point B because these two points are lying on this line equation. So let us substitute here point 1 comma 1. Then 1 is equal to minus 20 into x is nothing but point 1 here plus c. So this is minus 2 plus c. So c will be this minus 2 you take it to the other side. C is nothing but 3 here. So the second equation is minus 20 plus 3. This is defined for the interval. Here t is from point 1 to point 2. For t is 0 to point 1, x of t is defined as 20t minus 1. So this is how we can write the equation for x of t. So I have defined the given triangular signal here as 20t minus 1 for the interval 0 to minus 1 and minus 20t plus 3 for the interval 0.1 to 0.2. I have clearly explained how to write down the equation of the given signal. Here it is an upgoing ramp. So for that first I have found the slope and then I have substituted the slope in the equation y is equal to mx plus c. To find out the constant either of the signal you can substitute either of the point you can substitute and find out the constant. So like the way I found the equation for the line PB also. Now I will try to find out the average power. So average power P is given by 1 by T integral minus T by 2 to T by 2 x square of T dt. So the total time interval here is 0 to 0 0.2. So T is equal to time period is 0 0.2 here and this in this time period 0 to 2 it is defined into two parts 0 to 0.1 and 0.1 to 0.2. So the same thing I am writing here 1 by 0.2 into 0 to 0.1 you have one signal that is 20 t minus 1 dt plus integral 0.1 to 0.2 you have minus 20 t plus 3 dt. Now we have to do this integration. So 1 by 0.2 that you can write 20 into t square by 2 minus 1 means it will be t. You have the limits 0 to 0.1 plus similarly you have minus 20 into t square by 2 plus 3t in the interval 0.1 to 0.2. Now if you substitute the upper limit minus lower limit you will get this answer as 1 by 3. Next question is for the trapezoidal pulse x of t shown find the total energy. So here is the signal that is extended from minus 5 to 5. From minus 5 to minus 4 you have a ram whereas from minus 4 to 4 the signal is of constant amplitude 1. From 4 to 5 again it is a ramp. So for the ramp signal as we need to define the signal here you have certain sort of signal for t less than minus 5 to minus 4. Similarly you have an amplitude of 1 from minus 4 to 4 and you have some other signal from 4 to 5. So what is this signal? It is a ramp signal. So to define the ramp you need to write down the points here. So the starting point here is minus 5 comma 0 and the end point is minus 4 comma 1. So let us take x1 y1 and x2 y2 as the points. That is minus 5 comma 0 and minus 4 comma 1. So the line equation is given as y is equal to mx plus c. So for that I need to write down m 
the slope is given by y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Substituting 1 minus 0 divided by minus 4 minus of minus plus 5. So that is nothing but 1 here. So y is equal to what is y? y is nothing but the content on y axis that is x of t. m is the slope 1. x is nothing but your time here. Plus c. To find out the constant substitute the point y is equal to here m is nothing but 1 into x plus c. To get the value of constant, substitute minus 4 comma 1, any of the point that is lying on the line in this equation to get the constant. So, 1 is equal to 1 into x is minus 4 plus c. So, the constant value c is equal to 5 here. So, y is nothing but your x of t. So, the equation is written as x of t is equal to slope is 1 into x is nothing but t plus constant is 5. So, this is t plus 5 between minus 5 to minus 4. So, that I will write here t plus 5. x of t is defined as t plus 5 in the interval minus 5 to minus 4. Similarly, to define the signal in the range t is equal to 4 to 5, again write down the points here. The point is here 4 comma 1 and this is 5 comma 0. So, let us consider the two points here x1, y1 as 4, 1 and x2, y2 as 5, 0. Now, write down the slope m is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. 0 minus 1 divided by 5 minus 4. So, the slope is minus 1 here. The equation is y is equal to mx plus c. To find out the constant, substitute one of the point on this line. So, let us substitute this 5 comma 0 here. So, if I write 5 comma 0, y is 0 here. m is minus 1 into x plus x is how much? 5, right? c. So, the constant c is now 5. If it goes to the other side, c constant is equal to 5. So, in this y is equal to mx plus c equation, y is nothing but your y coordinate that is x of t is equal to slope is given as here minus 1 into x is nothing but your x coordinate t plus constant is 5. So, the equation x of t, the signal is defined as minus t plus 5 in the interval 4 to 5. This is how we have defined the given signal. Now, after defining the signal, we need to find out the total energy in the signal. Energy is given by minus infinity to infinity mod x of t square dt. But here the signal is extended from minus 5 to 5 only. So, the integral range is reduced now to minus 5 to 5 mod x of t square dt. Again, this minus 5 to 5 is divided into 3 regions. Minus 5 to minus 4, the signal is t plus 5 whole square dt. Plus minus 4 to 4, you have 1 square dt. Plus 4 to 5, the signal is defined minus t plus 5 whole square dt. Now, let us solve this integration. This is of the form integral x square. So, this will be x cube by 3. So, this I can write it as t plus 5 whole cube divided by 3 with the limits minus 5 to minus 4. Plus integral 1 is nothing but t with the limits minus 4 to 4. Plus again this is of the form x cube x square. So, this will come to x cube by 3. So, that is nothing but minus t plus 5 whole cube divided by 3. So, for minus t, you have to take one, one more integration that will be minus 1. So, this plus I am writing it as minus as I have to multiply with minus 1. Just changing the sign from plus to minus. Limits are 4 to 5. Now, substitute the limits. Upper limit minus lower limit. So, minus 4 plus 5 whole cube divided by 3 minus Lower limit minus 5 plus 5 whole cube divided by 3 plus for t 
I am substituting upper limit minus lower limit is minus 4. So minus of minus this will be plus 4 minus minus t. So that is minus upper limit is 5 plus 5 whole cube divided by 3 minus lower limit will be. So here minus of minus again it will be plus. So lower limit is 4 here minus 4 plus 5 whole cube divided by 3 here. So check it out. This will get cancelled. Plus 5 and minus 5 here also. Now it will be 5 minus 4. 1 whole cube divided by 3. 1 by 3. Plus 4 plus 4 is 8. Plus 5 minus 4 is 1. 1 cube divided by 3. That is 1 by 3. Take LCM 3 here. 1 plus 8 3 is 24 plus 1. So this is 26 by 3. So, the answer here is 26 divided by 3. For more videos, please do like, share, subscribe to our channel. Let us know your suggestions and queries in the comment box. Thank you.